Hey everyone, today I am doing a home chef unboxing and review and I'm going to show you what they sent me. So let's jump right in. Alright, now I have gotten uh, another delivery service, a food delivery service, um, HelloFresh. And as soon as I'm done editing that video, that will go up and then I'm going to do a video uh, showing you guys the difference between, uh, my opinion at least, uh, Home Chef and HelloFresh. So let's open this sucker up. Alright, so this has three recipe cards. Um, they look similar to the ones in HelloFresh, but um, these ones are hole-punched. And I did see someone else's video that said that they sent her a binder to put these in, which is kind of cool. So we'll see. I don't know if that's going to be in mine or not, but maybe because it's my first order. Um, anyway, I've got Japanese sirloin steak. I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Bucatini al Amatriciana? Yeah, I probably totally butchered that, sorry. Uh, and pork chop with cauliflower grits. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, the directions are on the back, how to make them. And this looks like insulation. More insulation. Okay. Alright, so this is kind of cute. They have it all together in the bag. Um, this is the pork chop with cauliflower grits. And it looks like it's got all the ingredients in there, except for the meat. The meat's probably at the bottom, at least that's what HelloFresh does. Um, so I'm sure Home Chef does something similar. So anyway, that looks all fresh and yummy. And we have meal number two, the Japanese sirloin steak. And that all looks nice and fresh with those yummy big carrots. And meal number three, <laughs> the one I can't pronounce, so my apologies. The Bucatini al Amatriciana. Will somebody leave in the comments if they know um, how to pronounce that? I don't know if you can even see it, but... Anyway, that looks yummy. I'm not sure what's in that white container, but um, that all looks good and fresh. Alright, and then we have some prosciutto. Num num. And more wrapping. So I don't know if it's because of the time of year, but, or maybe because, I don't really know why, but they sent uh, one small ice pack for everything. When I um, opened HelloFresh, it had two huge ice packs to keep everything cold. So I don't know if it's because it's January, but still here in Florida, it's like 65 degrees today. So, I mean, it's still ice cold and, and hard, but um, that is a big difference. All right, and these are the meats. These are the sirloin steaks. Those look really nice. And all of this is um, no hormones, no antibiotics added, uh, farm-raised, free-range. I think I got all that. And this is the pork chops. They look very good as well. So I'm not sure what meal I'm going to do first, but I will show you guys the results and let you know what I think once I've cooked all the meals. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet. And please leave a comment or any questions you have down below in the comments box. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye. All right. So this is the part to do of my uh, Home Chef unboxing and review. Uh, just to kind of go over the meals again, I had uh, the pork chop with cauliflower grits, this one, Japanese sirloin steak, and the one I can't pronounce, Bucatini al Amatriciana. Yay. Um, I forgot to take a picture when I made the pork chop with cauliflower grits of how it turned out, but uh, it did turn out beautiful. I absolutely loved the pork chop. The meat was on point, super tender, juicy, flavorful, just amazing. Um, the cauliflower grits, I like cauliflowers. Um, grits, 
not my favorite, but I'm not super picky, so I thought, oh, well, I'll try them. They were okay. I probably wouldn't cook them again. And then the toasted garlic tomatoes. Awesome. So I would give this meal probably like a six. Um, pork chop, phenomenal. The rest of it, eh, I could take it or leave it. However, I did get a photo of what it looked like when I was done cooking the Japanese sirloin steak with the mirin demi-glaze and buttery glazed carrots. Um, the rice was kind of bland and boring and everything else had so much flavor that the rice just didn't really kind of seem like it went with the rest of the meal. The carrots were phenomenal. Um, the sirloin steak was, uh, it was okay. It, I was kind of hoping that it would be just a little more tender. It was a little chewy. So I'm not really sure why that was. Uh, I'm, as far as I know, I cooked it as the directions said. So yeah, I give this one like a four. I'm not gonna recook this one. And I also got a photo of what this turned out like, which we cooked last night. And um, this Italian dish, it was like spectacular. Delicimo, or delici, yeah, whatever they say in Italian. Um, anyway, this was supposed to be a meal on its own, however, we had see, let's see, we had some ahi tuna steaks that we needed to cook, so we went ahead and made that along with this, which actually turned out to be perfect. Um, the, the only meat this had in it was prosciutto, and there wasn't very much of it, but like I said, with that ahi tuna steak on the side, which I know is not Italian and would, doesn't sound like it would be good together, but it was really good. So anyway, I will put those photos in the video for you. And um, I would say I'd give this one a nine, this Italian dish, pretty darn good. Just not quite alone. I don't know if it'd be super filling. Um, overall, I don't think I'll order Home Chef again. I wasn't super impressed. I really, really was, I don't know, I guess I really enjoyed HelloFresh and I don't want to talk bad about Home Chef, but we're not very picky eaters and I'm a pretty decent cook and I just, I didn't really like the way they turned out. So if I order again, I think I'm going to go back to HelloFresh and there's some other meal delivery services that I would like to try as well. So I'll probably be adding more videos of those. So, my overall opinion, I think I'll pass on Home Chef. But thank you guys for sending all that stuff. Um, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And leave a comment if you have ever ordered from a home delivery food meal service and what your thoughts are. And if you guys know of any others besides these two that are good that you think I should try out, please let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. See you later.